This short, simple guide to the element mercury will provide facts and information for chemistry students who are learning about the periodic table and, in particular, the element mercury. Each chemical element is given a unique chemical symbol which is used all over the world. The chemical symbol for mercury is Hg. The chemical symbols of elements come from their English, Greek, or Latin names. The first letter of a symbol is always a capital letter, and if there are any subsequent letters, they are expressed in lower case. Mercury was named after the Roman god Mercurius, the messenger of Jupiter, who was the god of commerce. The Latin word Mercurius is thought to have derived from the Latin merx, meaning merchandise. The symbol Hg is from the Greek words hydor and argyros, meaning water silver, because it is a liquid like water and has silvery metallic sheen. Mercury is also known as quicksilver, a reference to its mobility. All of the chemical elements are given a unique atomic number. The atomic number for mercury is 80. Atoms are made up of three kinds of smaller particles called protons, neutrons, and electrons. The atomic number is the number of protons in the atom. The chemical elements of the periodic table are shown in order of atomic number and identified by their symbol. The periodic table is a chart showing the symbols and the atomic numbers of all known elements, such as mercury, in one large grid. The chemical elements of the periodic table are placed in order of their atomic numbers. Atomic numbers increase as you move across a row, called a group, or down a column, called a period. The atomic number of mercury is 80. The element symbol for mercury is Hg. Mercury was discovered around 1500 BC. Some metals, including mercury, were used by some of the oldest civilizations. Right up to the Middle Ages, people believed that only seven metals existed. These seven metals were iron, gold, silver, copper, lead, tin, and mercury, and are now referred to as the metals of antiquity. Mercury was of great religious and alchemical importance in ancient times, but what else did they use mercury for? The reddish mineral cinnabar, also referred to as vermilion, which contained mercury and sulfur, was used as a dye. But the main use of mercury was to purify gold and silver. It was also used in creams and ointments as cosmetics and medicines. The element mercury is one of over 100 different chemical elements that are known to modern chemistry. Each element is first identified at room temperature and pressure as being a liquid, solid, or gas, referred to as states of matter. Mercury is a liquid at normal room temperature and pressure. Each element has physical properties that can be observed and measured, such as color, density, and odor. The chemical properties are the characteristics that determine how a substance will react with other substances, such as water or oxygen. What is mercury? In a general overview of the element, we can at first describe mercury as a liquid. It is a liquid at room temperature and one of the 20 least common elements. It is a poisonous metallic element. Mercury is occasionally found free in nature, but usually occurs as the red sulfide ore cinnabar. The largest producer of mercury is the USA, followed by Italy and Spain. The more specific physical properties of mercury can usually be observed using our senses or involve a numerical measurement, such as determining its boiling, freezing, and melting points. The physical properties of mercury are phase, liquid, color, silver-white, luster, shiny, mirror-like appearance, conductivity, good transmission of heat or electricity, high surface tension, when mercury is spilled, it breaks up into tiny beads which often become lodged in cracks. High density. The chemical properties are the characteristics that determine how mercury will react with other substances when it is changed chemically. The chemical properties of mercury are, it is highly toxic. It reacts with some acids when they are hot, but does not react with most cold acids. It does not readily react with oxygen in the air. Many of mercury's compounds are pigments, pesticides, and medicines. Mercuric chloride is used as an insecticide and in rat poison. An amalgam of mercury, silver, and tin is used in dentistry for filling teeth. Once the properties of an individual element have been identified, it is placed into a group of elements which have common properties and characteristics. Mercury is in the group called the transition metals. The 38 elements classified as transition metals are found in the middle of the periodic table in groups 3 through 12. Only a few of the transition metals are colored. Most of them are silver gray or silver bluish. As with all metals, the transition elements are ductile and malleable and good conductors of electricity and heat. They are generally hard and dense and less reactive than the alkali metals iron, 
copper, silver, and gold are important transition metals. Once the properties of an element have been established, we then have the ability to identify how it can be used. Mercury is used in batteries, thermometers, barometers, fluorescent lamps, dentistry, chemical pesticides, and the preparation of chlorine. Working with this substance is very dangerous, and poisoning by mercury and mercury compounds can occur in mercury mines and factories. The properties of mercury are classified by many other factors, including the melting point, boiling point, atomic mass, and density of the element. All of these precise measurements can be found on our website. So ends our simple guide to the element mercury. We have created a unique collection of videos on many other important elements. Check them out via our website.